Good morning, all. It's the Devious Monkey here, and it is another glorious bagel Sunday. Yes, it's 69 degrees, giggity, and it's sunny and blue skied. Gonna be another good day of relaxing, but also a day filled with day job and normal shit. Gotta get back into that habit of doing all my stuff on Sunday nights. At least until I learn what the hell I'm doing, I can get a flow going because I got a lot to do before I go out this week. And so I'm going to have to do shit today. But for now, we're going to go get some tasty, tasty bagels and snarf and just ease into the morning. So let's go do that. Bagels gotten. I must say, there's a wonderful scent in the air. And there's a couple of dogs in a small car over there with the windows down. And that one dog is just like, oh just smelling that smell it, it it actually smells like somebody's cooking over an open fire which they might actually be doing who knows but all right let's go home and snarf all right kids here's the deal i have now maneuvered all this stuff i've detached the rolling lights from the cluster of cables and cords that i have going over to the studio side hooking up the computer and all that stuff and now i'm going to show you with, I'm going to use the a7 IV and show you how I have all this set up. Now, I can tell you f straight up, this looks a thousand percent better to me now that instead of using that dinky little Ulanzi light, which was like over here in front of me shining up, I have my falcon eyes basically just to this side of the camera a little bit forward. It's not in the shot. I'm about, I don't know, couple feet away from the from the TV screen and four feet away from the camera which is right about this level and as you can see when I put my hand up you can see where the light the lights is basically coming from right there all right now I'm going to show you with the a7 IV so here you can see right in front of me is the camera I have it on the Ulanzi Komen carbon fiber tripod. It's sitting on top of my table. You can see my iPad mini right over there that's casting this background. And then I have my stand, which I have now slid over here and it's sitting right there. And there's my lights. It's got the grid on it, the diffusion, all that stuff. I turned it up considerably from what I was doing when I had it over there in the corner of the studio, but it's pretty much near perfect. Now, sitting on this uncomfortable ass bar stool isn't something that I'm going to do all the time as far as sitting here and blathering on for 20 minutes because no, my ass has had it from that day I spent with my boss at three ships sitting on one of these things all day. But I think I've got this now perfect. I can play around with the backgrounds, of course. I just pulled this one up because I saved it as a, as a favorite to watch later so that I always have it. I mean, it's eight hours long. <laughs> So I've got eight hours of this window beach view with the birds and, and chirping and all that stuff. There might be a bug or two in there, plus the waves splashing. And I think it's awesome. And I, I can almost feel like I'm there at the beach when I have this thing playing all day, if I decide to do that. And as far as moving the lights over and using the falcon eyes, I think I was right on that in that it's perfect. That diffused light, that close right up behind me, and it's a bigger box instead of that dinky little Ulanzi light. Again, nothing against the little Ulanzi light. It has its purpose. It's not for a key light, though. So that's what I got going on. So for now, what I've done is I put the 35 millimeter f1.8 lens back on the FX30, and then ugh, on the a7 IV, I moved the 11 millimeter over to that just for filming right now. So now I'm using my Insta360 ONE RS with the 4K boost module on it. And I'm also going to use my fall cam suction cup with one of these little like magic arm thingies. I'm gonna put this back in the Forerunner and put it up on the windshield. And then I'm gonna flip this around here and I'm gonna use this from now on to do my time lapses. Because the time lapse I did of myself in here yesterday when I was building the whole TV set and putting it up and all that kind of stuff, I think it worked fantastic. So instead of using my FX30 and having to spin it and lift it and change all that shit, I can then flip this upside down, hanging it up on the windshield, and I can get perfect stuff. That's what I got going on now. 
As far as the rest of the studio, I have already, well, I took the Halloween stuff down last Monday and I had gone to Michael's and bought Christmas decorations. So now the studio over there is done up in a Christmas theme because I dig Christmas. I'm not gonna bother with Thanksgiving and all that kind of stuff because whatever, Christmas. I'm going back, well, after I go out into the, into the Forerunner and mount all this shit, then I'm gonna go back to Pleasure House Point, but I'm going back to Pleasure House Point to take pictures of birds and just to walk around. I am gonna bring this with me and I'm gonna film though, so this time everything is set up better. I have taken my birding setup and now I put the Falcam F38 quick release plate on there as well as having one on here. But but I put it here now that balances my lens and camera so I can put it on the tripod as well. Unlike the fiasco yesterday of trying to put this thing on there and film with it and all that kind of stuff, that camera is not meant for filming birds in the wildlife. I have to be able to put the camera up to my eye like this to track birds. Once I figured that out, once I saw Mark Smith show how he got those those amazingly steady shots, I knew that that was how I was going to have to shoot both still and video if I ever want to capture video with this or with the a7 IV. All right, so now we're going to grab all this crap and we're going to go load stuff into the Forerunner and then we're going to go to Pleasure House Point for some birding and then we're going to hit up three ships and anything else that comes along the way. Let's do it. So this was relatively easy to get this set up. So all I did was put the suction cup back up here and then I angled this thing in such a way that it basically lifts this up, moves it as far forward as possible, and levels it out. So now when I'm sitting here, I mean, the camera would be right there. I'm not gonna show you that because I'm holding the camera, but basically, you know, everything is all set. So now I can see on the screen if it's recording, what's happening, and all that kind of stuff, and I'm good to go as far as being on the road now. All right, finally, it's, 11.35, let's go hit up Pleasure House Point for a little bit and get a, get a good walk in. Okay, this doesn't happen very often. There's a freaking huge bird right there on a little branch. Okay, let's go see what else we can find. So far, so good, huh? Unfortunately, I'm gonna have to leave here and go shopping. The cat needs cat litter and the little plasticky shit that goes in the poop holder. So I'm on the last one, so I gotta get that. We need groceries. The All in all, I'd rather be out here. But wait, I am out here. So not a lot out here today just those first three great blue herons that were in that first lake. There's a great egret out here that's hunting, but he's kind of out there a little ways. So I thought that I would just sit here and enjoy, I don't know. And since I have so much to do, yeah, okay, great. I got an hour back today, but I think that's about it. So I'm probably just gonna pack this stuff up and, and walk back and start doing the shopping thing so that I can start all this crap that I got to do at home earlier rather than later because that's what usually gets me stressed is that I end up thinking, oh, I got all day. And the next thing I know it's six o'clock and I haven't started laundry yet. I mean, last week I was doing laundry till almost 10. So don't want to do that no more. So why don't we just pack it up and head on to the next adventure. Okay, kids. So we're back in the studio, obviously. As you can see, now that I have it all set up the way that it's supposed to be, you can see that I have uh, my Christmas stuff. Merry Christmas. All that shit. It's all set up, ready to go. And now, I don't know how it changed that much for me just wheeling it, but I think the, the, like the, the, like the, the poles, post, whatever, I think some of that got twisted. So it moved the camera angle and the light angle, and it just made it not right. So I've been dicking around with that for a while, trying to get it to look the way that I want it to look. And this is as close as it's going to get. So that's up a little bit high. And this is also really far away now. It used to be like right up 
to the thing here and I could reach it. Now I gotta like, I gotta go way out there. So you know how this goes. Everything is an evolution with me. I'm constantly trying new shit. I finally get things the way I want them to, and then I change them. And that's the madness of the monkey. So it has been a wonderful day. Got up, we did bagel Sunday and all that stuff. And then I started messing around in here and shot all that stuff earlier. And then I went to Pleasure House Point. After I left Pleasure House Point, I went to three ships, but then I came home rather than going and doing all the shopping because I didn't want to have all that camera gear in, in my Forerunner just sitting around. So I went out and did all the shopping, like I said I was going to do. Had my dinner, we'll just call it dinner, and now I'm gonna finish this video up and start editing and all that shit. But before I start editing and all that shit, I'm gonna get my laundry into the washer so that I'm not doing that at freaking 10 o'clock at night again like I did last weekend. That's all you get for today. So if you have any comments, questions, or suggestions, leave them down below. As always, thanks for joining me. Be sure to like and subscribe. And remember, kids, forward and up.